Hi, if you own a service based business like a law firm, accounting firm, um, a residential services company, a cleaning company or a commercial construction, doesn't matter any business that you serve uh, a service based business, then this video is for you. In this video, I'm going to share five ways to generate qualified leads who can get you the money in your bank account. That's it. So this video is all about generating five ways to generate qualified leads for your business. Hi, I am Harish Gotedi. I'm the founder of EasyB Systems. We are a technology consulting firm. I am on a mission to help small businesses scale with affordable technology solutions. This channel is all about helping your business scale. So I'm going to share a lot of strategy, tips, hands-on uh, videos on how you can leverage technology to actually scale your business. So do subscribe to this channel because you are going to learn a lot on how you can grow your business exponentially and in ways you never imagined possible. So do subscribe and turn on the notification so you will be the first to know when I post a content on this channel. So today's topic, as I said, it's five ways to generate qualified leads for your business. Um, so typically you probably ran ads, you know, Facebook ads, and you got leads and you called them. So what happens with service-based business? The key in service-based business is time. If you are spending time on wrong leads or unqualified leads, you are just wasting time, right? You are losing money. So the key is to, for every business owner to ask is, how am I going to get qualified leads for my business, right? So that you don't waste time on people who are just shopping around, right? So here's our, here are the five tips or five ways to generate qualified leads. The first one is specific lead magnet with a dollar ten or less upsell. So what I mean by that is we all know what is a lead magnet. If you in case you don't, it's just a way to attract leads. So you may give an offer like a coupon or discount, a, a, a checklist or an ebook or a, a brochure or whatever the value that you are giving for them to download, give come to you and give the coupon. Whatever it is, it is called a lead magnet. Basically, you are attracting them to your business, right? So that's the lead magnet. But the businesses, what they generally do is they make generic or open-ended lead magnets. Like you know, they don't they are not specific. So if your company provides plumbing, HVAC, um, you know, um, HVAC plumbing cleaning, you know, whatever type of services, right? So your lead magnet say fifty percent off on all services. So it is very difficult to understand what are they really looking for, right? So I recommend giving a very specific lead magnet so that you get the people who are interested in a specific service. You can create multiple lead magnets depending on the services you offer, but when you offer a lead magnet, make it very specific and make sure you have an upsell which is dollar 10 or less. What I mean by that is the moment they download, they take action on your lead magnet, immediately sell them something that is of high value but a low cost to you to make it or to build it. So that way what happens is you are getting the, you are gaining the trust of the prospect, the trust of the lead immediately and it will also save your ad cost. Basically you will break even on your ad cost, right? So make sure you go ahead and sell something that is of less cost but high value, high perceived value um, for them so that they can pay you something and get the relationship going. So that's number one. Number two is paid masterclass. These, um, the masterclass concept became pretty popular in the recent times. Doesn't matter which service based business you are in, you can teach something. You are in that business because you are an expert, right? Um, you know, so go ahead do a masterclass one hour two hours on a specific topic but make it paid so they come in and attend the masterclass by paying 20 to 40 dollars anywhere in between so you gain their trust more and you actually know who i mean if they paid 40 dollars or 20 dollars they surely want that result right then it becomes a lot more easier to take them to the next level in your selling process so make sure do a paid master classes on different topics based on your services you offer and invite them through ads and you know through whatever the means you um, you know generate leads so get them and so that you get qualified leads if they are not 
willing to pay forty dollars forget paying four thousand dollars to you right so you have to be uh, very careful on um, you have to be extremely um, uh, focused on people who are willing to pay you right so that is the whole reason for the master class so the next number three is a challenge so it would be a five day or a ten day challenge where you promise a guaranteed result so people are always looking for results we are not buying products we are buying products to get a certain result right um, that's what we buy so promise a result and do a challenge where they come and work with you online or whatever it is so five or ten day workshop or a challenge so they come in and they, they pay for you pay to you and to go through the challenge and get the result the moment they see the first result the whole dynamic changes like they trend, trust, trust you more they are open to listen to you they are open to uh, look at what you have to offer to them what you have offered you know what's in store for them right so everything changes so do those five or ten day challenges so that you can actually learn um, you know you can get qualified leads who are willing to pay you more right that's number three number four direct response mail with specific irresistible offer so direct response is big in the US I, I am also a copywriter so I understand that market so go ahead and create a direct response campaign but make sure you have an irresistible offer with an urgency in it like you don't wait for them to come like three months so put an urgency in there like next week the deadline or whatever and make sure you give them an irresistible offer that they can't um, reject so they have to take it so create an offer that is so uh, enticing for them for your target customer so they come in and they are open to talk to you right so that is the number four direct response marketing um, you know campaigns with a specific irresistible offer the last one uh, is the fifth one is referral system with benefits to both parties um, so what I mean by that is most people do use referral systems we ask uh, for referral another customer uh, but what we forget is it has to be a win-win for both a referred refer person who is referring and also person who is being referred to right and so what i mean by that is if i go ahead and refer you and if i get something for referring the ten dollar gift card or whatever i do it but the person on the other side he listen to me because i'm his friend but he may not take action because it's not something there is no reward second it is inconvenience for them to actually uh, they may not have an urgency the third is they it's an inconvenience for them to take time to meet you and you know stuff like that so make it rewarding for both parties so that they actually it's a win-win for both of them so the person who is referring will be willing to refer more people and the people who are being referred will love to come to you because you gave them an irresistible offer or gave them something that is of their interest to come to you and talk to you so these are the five things uh, and i i you know i want to share it but the whole thing that i am really focused on is action so use any of these five methods and let me know how things change you can comment always comment in the comments below and let me know which method you like most or which way you like most and why and also you can let us know if you tried that one of these five ways how did it change your lead quality or lead generation process so do let me know i'm very curious to see how your business will grow uh, with these uh, five ways of uh, generating qualified leads how much time you save how well are those leads are converting what are your conversion rates so i'm very curious to know how things go if you try any of these five ways so do try them and let me know again do subscribe to this channel because i'm going to share a lot of tips strategies to scale your business until next time thank you for watching this video